Good morning, beautiful people. Today is the day before my anniversary. And if you don't know, uh, around these parts, we call it birthdays anniversaries because they're just so much more special. So I need to go get Chick-fil-A for tomorrow morning. And I need to get libations and donuts. And yeah, so today should be a busy-ish day. As you can see, my hair is wet. I woke up early this morning and washed my hair because I wanna have nice clean hair for my birthday. Yes, Miss Grace, you may drink your water. <laughs> uh, my beautiful flowers are still alive. That makes me so happy. You guys, I'm now getting like more into flowers. Uh, previously, I really wasn't into flowers because they die and it makes me sad, but I'm learning to just appreciate them while they are here. So thanks, babe, for these beautiful flowers. Um, I'm still loving them and they smell beautiful. Um, so yeah, let me get going and pick up this breakfast and come back home and let my hair air dry a little. And then I need to edit a video. But I figured I would start this vlog off by sharing my anniversary prep. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing anything tomorrow except spending time with um, the people closest to me. And yeah, I'm kind of thankful for a quarantine anniversary. Um, it's nothing like what I would have planned for myself. I was actually supposed to have a big party and invite all my friends. But <laughs> uh, I'm still social distancing and I'm still in quarantine. I don't know about the rest of Atlanta, but yeah, it's a big step for me to even be getting like food. <laughs> so um, I decided I would share this day with you guys and kind of just talk with you and let you know what will be happening for tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to vlog tomorrow just because I don't know, it's kind of personal and yeah, the people that are going to be here do not want to be on camera. And I totally understand that. So we're going to make the best of tomorrow, but I figured I would share today with you guys. Also, I'm going to try not to talk too much about the current state of affairs in our country, just because I want to be in a positive space as I move into my next year. And um, I've just really been in such a drained, depleted state um, mentally and emotionally since this all started. 2020 has been a rough year overall, but uh, this just kind of amplified it even more. And I hope we make some progress in the coming year, but um, I've chosen to kind of distance myself from all the coverage in the media. Um, it's just a lot, although it's necessary, at least for myself, to stay abreast on what's happening. The constant reminder of oppression and inequality and injustice um, that Black Americans face is just, it's, it's too much. It's too bleak right now. Um, and I also want to say this, and this will be the last thing I say this vlog, hopefully. Um, love everybody, okay? Love everybody appreciate people when people are saying i see no skin color see their skin color accept and appreciate their differences but love them all the same um yes we know that all lives matter well some of us um but right now we're focused on black lives because our lives are in danger constantly and um, it's really sad when I think about the fact that for many people in general, you have to have gone through some type of injustice or prejudice or discrimination to kind of sympathize and empathize with us. And it shouldn't be that way. Um, I think of the Muslim ban in America, Blacks stood up for Muslims. When I think of build that wall 10 feet higher, Blacks stood up for Mexicans. When I think of uh, when coronavirus started and uh, Asian people were being discriminated against, Blacks stood with them. 
And I also say this as being someone of mixed race and I'm not thinking about my other heritage and my other race right now. It's about black lives. So let's stay on task. I know that's hard for some of us sometimes, but let's stay on task. I love everybody. I love and appreciate everybody, but right now we are focused on black lives. Let's not forget that. We have sauced up shoddy today. Chloe Grace has, uh-uh, stop putting your paw through this necklace, little homie. <laughs> Chloe has wing sauce. Hey, 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 relax. She has wing sauce on her paws. Get in your seat. Because some wings, well, one wing fell on the floor. Sit down the other day. And she thought that was her opportunity to have a try. Sit down, baby. Please sit. Thank you. When you ride in the car with mama, you have to sit down. <sighs> Let go. of bringing Chloe to Chick-fil-A and she is not having it with these coming by to take our order. You have to be nice, Chloe. They're helpful. It's okay. Can you sit for mommy? Sit. I know, but sit and like stay and no whining and no barking and growling. I know, I know you don't, I know, because you're not going to come in the car with me again, because I don't think you can handle this. Can you sit? Oh, the struggle of having a dog that's a princess and a little baby. I'm a real ass, rich ass, bitch from the south. He can like, oh damn, it's what in the got no smell. Just got back from getting our food for tomorrow, and I snacked on all the potatoes that were left in the bag. And now I'm full. But I want to edit a video really quickly before I do a face mask and do my hair. It got pretty dry while I was out, out and about. Still kind of damp where my roots are, but that is all right. So I'm gonna edit this video and that is all of the work that I am doing until after my birthday. I need some days of rest. So, I'll see you guys when it's masking time. Mm -hmm. I'll crop you out. Uh, so we're back at Chick-fil-A because I didn't get the jalapeno salsa for the burritos tomorrow. And he wanted a milkshake. But then we are on our way to Sublime Donuts, which is a black owned donut shop. I think they have the best donuts in Atlanta. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, the location we always go to is off 10th Street by Georgia Tech. But I want to say there's another off Briarcliff, maybe. So if you're in the Atlanta area, you should support them. It's awesome. This is also, I look like a Simpsons character. This is the first year that I have never, that I didn't have a cake. But yeah, but these donuts are so good, like you don't even want a cake. And I feel like getting donuts is better for portion control, even though I plan to have like 10 over the course of two days. Like, I mean, it's your birthday. Like you have to eat what you want. Where, uh, oh. <laughs> Tried to show you guys where we were going, and there was a cop. Stay safe, Atlanta. <laughs> I'm leaving that in the vlog. <laughs> oh, well, never would have made it. We're here. This is Sublime Donuts, and we are excited. The best donuts, guys. Uh, I'll put a link down below for their website. Mmm. -hmm. Mouth is watering. Don't they have a happy birthday box? <laughs> you guys, I look so horrible. But anyway, every time I come here to Sublime Donuts, they are always super, super nice. I just love supporting black businesses who give great customer service and who have like amazing products and food and all that great stuff. So definitely check them out. 
Okay, now I'm gonna run into the UPS store really quickly because you guys have been asking for a PO box and I think it's time, so let me go and get that information. Then we can pick up more food and I'll see you guys at home. Hi, mama. I'm back. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> so these are the donuts we got. A-Town Boston Cream, red velvet, red velvet, some type of little swirl, fresh strawberry. Those are like the little animal cracker donuts. And then you can put it on the bottom. Fresh strawberry, Oreo, A-Town Cream, honey bow tie or something. Baby, you can have a piece of a donut tomorrow for mommy's birthday, okay? Okay guys, so as you can see, I look a hot mess. I'm going to do my hair and relax for the rest of the day. We are going to have French martinis tomorrow because that's my favorite, like, I guess beverage that's not keto friendly. So Chambord, my favorite vodka and pineapple juice. We got, I don't know exactly how to say that. And then we got some mum champagne shout out to my girl samantha she knows her champagne so i figured that would be good and then this is the champagne for the mimosas i love this kind of corbel it's really good i just wanted to share my birthday hair i hear my dog is that miss chloe <laughs> See you guys in a few days. Good morning. It is the day after the Grand Dame's anniversary. I had the best quarantine birthday ever. First of all, the day before my birthday and the day after, my friends came over, which they did not have to do. Like they risked their lives to come in to like sit and chat with me, even if it was only for an hour. And I really appreciate that. Um, I had not seen each of them, well, all three of them, since at least, yeah, February. The end of January and the end of February. So, oh, it felt good. It kind of felt normal. <laughs> and uh, my family, we had a little karaoke party here. It was the best birthday ever. I couldn't ask for more. I did everything I wanted to do. The only thing I couldn't do that I wanted to do was eat like I wanted to because I forgot. I'm like, girl, you don't usually eat all this food. So I was full all day. This is my Chick-fil-A breakfast that I couldn't eat yesterday. <sighs> my friends brought me a cake from a piece. It was called Piece of Cake. I've never had that cake before. I don't know if it's just in Atlanta, but so yeah, I'm about to eat my Chick-fil-A, talk to him, have some cake, and yeah, it's uh, we're still celebrating. So thank you to all of you who also wished me a happy birthday on social media. That was very sweet of you. I love you guys dearly. Let me get my day started and I will catch up with you later. I received a knock at the door. And the most beautiful flower arrangement. It doesn't have the person's name on it. So whoever sent this, thank you so much. Hopefully, well, you may not watch my vlogs, but it's really beautiful. I just don't know who it's from, but thank you. I love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Oh, I just looked up and there's a lizard. Mm. Anyway. I have been responding to comments on YouTube and yeah. Oh, I need to put on my jewelry for today. But um, I just wanna once again, thank you guys for being so lovely and um, <sighs> sharing with me um, on the last vlog that I put up. Uh, that was about me hitting 20K subscribers and then it was about the Black Lives Matter movement and the protest and uh, I just wanna thank you guys for your kind words and a lot of the things that you guys were telling me, especially about, let me put you guys down, especially concerning the fact that I don't accept gifts well, I hear it and I receive it. 
that is something that I've definitely been working on. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm like that, but like I never want anybody to, not that I don't want people to do nice things for me, I just, like don't go out of your way. I'm gonna work on it though. <laughs> Um, but I just actually called the florist to see who sent my flowers. If you're watching, thank you so much. They are so beautiful. I got so much love for my birthday this year. And I don't know. It was just, it was awesome. I really, really had a great day. And then the fact that it was a birthday in quarantine, but I really enjoyed myself. I honestly couldn't have asked for anything more. I will include some clips from my birthday from at least the karaoke portion. Uh, just because someone DMs me on Instagram and they were saying that they hope I include some of it in a vlog. So I will do that for you guys. I need to edit those clips. But I just appreciate you guys so, so much. I really, really do. Thank you guys so much. And I know I look rather large today. Um, I've been having plenty of libations recently for my birthday slash anniversary. And it's definitely fattened me up a little bit. <laughs> um, after this pineapple juice is gone and I'm no longer drinking French martinis, uh, I will be back on track. And I am going to do a workout today because... Honey, it's been like two days or a day since I've done like a an official workout. And I feel it. This is why I like to work out seven days a week because I can tell like my body feels sluggish when I don't work out. So I want to do that. I want to purchase some things today. I was blessed with many gift cards and there are some things that I wanted to pick up. Uh, like beauty products and some things on Amazon. I just, I don't know. People were just so sweet to me this year and I appreciate that. Okay, so let me go back and spend time. Okay, so I have never had a piece of cake before, like from a piece of cake. Let's have our first taste. Mmm. Mmm. This is a white strawberry cake. I've also never had strawberry cake before. Mmm, it tastes like a pop tart. In my balloons so i just realized that i haven't really been vlogging a lot today i've really just been relaxing and spending time with my family but i do want to get a quick workout in uh because i have not worked out in maybe one and a half days like a true official workout so i'm gonna do that i'm also gonna insert two well, two images, one image and one video uh, of an unboxing I did today, but I did it over on Instagram. So if you are not following me, I would highly suggest you do so. Uh, I'm going to be working with a new company, well, it's new to me, called Royalty Sense. It's pretty much a fragrance subscription service. You guys know I'm not too into subscription services just because I don't like having reoccurring bills. But the thing that really interested me about this company, Chloe, come here. It's all luxury and niche fragrances. Um, so I'm really excited about that because that is kind of the realm that I'm stepping into. Not to say that I'm never going to go to a Macy's counter or a Sephora and get a fragrance again. I like what I like based upon how it smells, not based upon how unique or like exclusive or expensive it is. Although sometimes the uniqueness does go into play. But yeah, I'm really excited about working with this company. But I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow will be a better vlogging day. Hopefully 
it will because i'll actually be working today was just like the recoup so see you guys tomorrow i was trying to look for some lip balm because i feel like my my lips are ashy but couldn't find it we got some mail well i got some mail so my friend told me that she was sending me a gift i'm so excited i i just can't even fathom what this is like first of all what do i want that's in a box this big she also told me that this is something i've never mentioned but she knows me very very well so let's see super excited bart 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 bartisan Barbison, Artisan, Artisan, Premium Cocktails on Demand. Ooh. You guys know I love a good libation. Don't you go sniffing that box. Do you want to get puppy coronavirus, Chloe? Oh my goodness. Oh. You guys, look. Oh my gosh, it's like a Keurig for alcoholic beverages. Ooh, I think I actually saw this once. I wanna say for Christmas, uh, I was looking on Amazon and they had like Mariah Carey's favorite things or something. And this might've been on the list, but my friend knows me so well. While I like to indulge in luxury, it has to make sense. So while I wanted this when I saw it, in my mind, I'm like, what are you going to do with that? I mean, duh, we know what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cool. Intelligent cocktail creation, expertly designed and engineered to craft the perfect cocktail in seconds. <sighs> Easy to clean, variety without complexity, freshness dated capsules, and premium glass bottles. So I don't really understand this, so let's pop it open. This is so freaking cool. This is gonna help expand my repertoire because she only really drinks vodka sodas. So I guess this is what you would put your mixers in, or maybe that's for the alcohol. I don't know, I'm gonna have to read up on this. He got me all these bar accessories to make cocktails. One of my friends got me a bottle of Ciroc because it's Ciroc watermelon. Because if you know me, oh, these say like whiskey and gin on them. Oh, this is so cool. What was I saying? So if you know me, you know that I really only drink Tito's at home because like, I like to be economical, but now I might, I might become a Ciroc girl. This is so cool. Now, ooh, I can put this in my dining room, okay, because the reason why I don't really buy lots of small appliances is because I don't have space for them. Um, like, I really want an espresso, but I'm trying to wait until my Keurig dies. And I also just feel like, girl, where are you gonna put all this stuff? So you have spaces for your gin, your rum, your vodka. Thank goodness vodka's in the front because that's my fave. Whiskey and tequila. Oh my gosh. So it goes like this. How cool. Oh my goodness. Well, now I have to go to the liquor store <laughs> because the only alcohol I have here is like my special liquor from other countries. Oh, uh, let's do, let's see, gin or rum. We'll do rum. I'm a gin girl though. Oh my gosh. Look at this beauty. Oh, she's fabulous. I'm gonna need like a little table for this. 
I would put it in the butler's pantry, but I don't want this to just be out in the open. Like, it's special. Like, she needs her own little area, darling. <sighs> okay, so I don't know. Oh, you put water back there. And then it probably has to be turned on. Oh my gosh, it's just like a Keurig. So in the first box, this is so cool. This is the Keurig for my ladies and gents who love a little libation. So this is the first box. And I think you pronounce it Bartesian, hopefully. This has the classic collection, whiskey sour, margarita, old fashioned, Long Island iced tea, cosmopolitan and uptown rocks, which I've never had. I've never had Uptown Rocks, not all of them. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited. They have nutritional information. So the one with the least amount of sugar is the old fashioned, of course, because it tastes like shit. And the one that has the most, of course, is the whiskey sour. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so to make the perfect cocktail, you insert the cocktail capsule, select your strength, hallelujah, and enjoy. Oh my goodness. So let me show you what the pods look like. So freaking cool. Uh, if I can find a link for this Bartesian, I will link it down below as well as the pods. So this is the first box of pods. My friend is freaking amazing. So the next box is Cosmopolitan. How does she know? Like, well, duh, she knows me. So these are Cosmopolitans. Super, super fun. Oh my goodness. Who wants to party? And my last box is Margarita. Perfect. And then she got me this tea disc carousel, which will hold all of my pods. So she must have done her research to know like which carousel would work for this. I'm so stoked. We are gonna be libating. Ooh, <laughs> so pretty. Oh yes. Let me put all my pods in. <gasps> Chloe. Oh, it spins. I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna keep her. What shall we name her? We'll name her Honey. We're gonna keep her in the dining room because I want it to be a special experience. I'm so excited. Okay, let me put my pods in. Hey guys, so I made my first libation on camera with my friend because she called me. So I made a Cosmo. Fun fact, I don't think I've ever really had a Cosmopolitan because when I go out to bars and such, before I was keto, I would usually get like a margarita or a French martini or champagne. But now I really only have vodka sodas because I'm trying to be a skinny legend forever. But I wanted to try something that involved vodka because that's like the only liquor that I have here that's not special. So I made a Cosmo. So cheers to amazing, super amazing friends, to super amazing supporters and subscribers, and to life. Mm. So, so good. Okay, I'm gonna go make him a drink. I will come back later. Hi 
I was just responding to you guys' comments. Fragrance is not worth the hype. I just cannot. First of all, are we blurry? You guys' comments are taking me out. <laughs> it was not my intention to offend anybody. I hope nobody is seriously offended by this video. Um, I've seen this tag go around and certain ladies were not here for fragrances that I love. So it's definitely nothing personal. So I uh, just hope nobody was really offended. But it was super fun to film this video. Um, I will link it down below if you have not seen it. Other than that, I just tried on my Fenty, my Savage X Fenty lingerie from Rihanna's line. Uh, that was the first time I've ever actually like tried her line. So my friend got me these leggings that I'm wearing. You can't see them and I don't wanna fall. But they have the little emblem on them. You can see a little bit of it. <laughs> I will link them down below. They are so comfortable. I went for a 2X because the model looked smaller than me and she was wearing a 2X, but these are a little big. So I'm probably gonna um, buy another pair and get a 1x the fabric of these leggings is so comfortable it's like thick but soft it doesn't stretch out and look nasty <laughs> it's just a really good legging then i also got a lime green uh, bralette and panty set that i will put a picture in the screen and then i got the logo pink bralette and boy short set super super cute as well i wish that i could be the type of gal that would do like an instagram photo shoot in her savage x fenty but i'm not and i won't be doing one but the line is really soft and the fabrics are nice and i'm actually really surprised with these items so thank you once again to my friend if you're watching I love my stuff and it's so cute. So I'm definitely gonna keep a look out on the website. It's just when I looked online, everything was sold out. So I don't know if they have like drop dates and then after that date, it's kind of a hit or miss, but I don't really like buying things that I have to like hunt to find in stock. So that was a little annoying to be honest. But I am happy with all my things for reference. I am about a size just standard 16 right now. And in the lingerie sets, the 2X fits perfectly. And in the leggings, I think the 1X would fit perfectly. Now, the underwear from the yellow set, I probably could have taken a 1X. Because, like, just being honest, I don't wear a lot of panties that, like, sit on top of my stomach, like, where my belly button is. So, they, like, they look large and they are large. I mean, they fit. But I like a snugger fit panties. <laughs> but now I know for next time. The bralettes, of course, um, they don't fit perfectly. I mean, it's a bralette. I didn't have much in terms of an expectation for a perfect fit. But they are pretty, some nice little loungewear slash lingerie looks. Um, so yeah, I love those. So if you guys were thinking about getting some Savage X Fenty, I would highly recommend it. Um, if I get some more loungewear pieces in the future, maybe I will do a try on haul. But just because the pieces are lingerie, um, I'm not about to come on camera in lingerie. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand, but I would highly recommend them. The fabrics are really nice. Like, honestly, you guys, I've worn these leggings every day since my birth. Okay, so I purchased a few things. You guys know that I've really been into Maison Francisco Jean lately. And yeah, this was like one of the things that I bought for myself. So Maison Francisco Jean. Another thing I really like about his website is that you can purchase samples, which is great because especially while we're in quarantine, a lot of states, the malls aren't even open. And then because of the protests, certain malls have been closed. Uh, I haven't been out in Atlanta because I don't trust it, <laughs> but I wrote myself a little note. It says, cheers, it's Tuesday, enjoy smelling lovely. Bless you. Oh my gosh, and it's actually Tuesday. <laughs> so this is what the top again. 
Looks like super, super beautiful. Here's what I purchased. Okay, so like I was saying, you can actually purchase samples from the MFK website. And the great thing about it is you purchase this for about $14 USD. And then after your order is placed, you get a coupon for $14 off a future purchase. So that's how I got this fragrance. Um, like I said, it was $2.25 regularly. I used my $14 off and then I did purchase another sample kit so that I can get another fragrance for $14 off. And then as a little token of their appreciation, uh, I got a travel size of Aqua Celestia, which is supposed to be really nice. If you are in the market for some MFK fragrances, uh, I will link the ones down below that are my favorite. And don't be afraid to buy samples because like I said, you get a voucher for the amount that you spent in samples to use towards a future purchase. So it's like, you're not really losing any money. I love it. So the first sample I got is A La Rose. The second sample is Feminine Pluriel. The third is Gentle Fluidity Silver. Hmm. The fourth is Oud Silk Mood. And then I believe you get two free samples with every purchase. So I got Amorous for her. A friend told me this was nice. And then the second one, I got Gentle Fluidity Silver. So I'm gonna do a complete video where I try half of my MFK fragrances and then I'll do another video where I try the other half. So this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Oh, this is the most beautiful scent. I first saw my girl Pockets and Bows talk about it. I will of course link her channel down below. I adore her. You wanna smell it, baby? You wanna smell it? Okay. She literally put her paw on my lap. You wanna smell it? Can you smell it? Here, let me open it up for you. I also got another MFK fragrance. Ooh. Oh, she's nice. I also got another MFK fragrance for my birthday. So, oh baby, you haven't even smelled it yet. So I'll be including both of those, both of these in my uh, birthday haul or in my beauty haul. Look at the inside packaging. When the bottle was down in it, it looked like it was reflecting off the bottle. I love like nice details like that. That's what you're paying for a lot of the time and I don't mind. So this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Oh, oh it smells so good. I'm so happy to have this. Oh, that vapor. This just, I smell like just, oh, a nice, oh, oh, mm, that's how it makes me feel. It's a warm floral. It smells like cotton candy. It smells like vanilla. It is just beautiful without being overpowering. This is a really nice daytime appropriate scent. I see why um, Pockets and Bows talks about this being the more wearable version of Baccarat Rouge 540. I think this is a little too feminine though, but I love this, so wow. And then the sample or the travel size version I got is Aqua Celestia. Let's see, I've heard, I went and looked it up because what happened was I didn't have enough in my cart to satisfy getting this sample. So I looked this up, people said it smelled great and that is why I purchased all those samples. But let's try Aqua Celestia. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. That's beautiful. I get green, fresh citrus, lime. I want to say this is supposed to have some juniper in it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's very fresh and beautiful. So I will wear that tomorrow. And look out for my Mason Francis Kirkjean video. I don't know if it's gonna be in July or August. 
I have so many videos planned and I have so many videos that like I'm doing with brands. So I don't know what that timeline looks like, but just know that it's coming and you guys will be getting a beauty haul in June and a birthday luxury haul in July. Uh, I'm ordering a few more items and I'm waiting for a few things. You guys know shipping has kind of been impeded by uh, COVID and now the protests. So I don't mind waiting. That's fine. But just to let you guys know, because I know some people were asking if I was going to do a luxury haul that is coming in July, probably. Hey, guys. I just realized that I never came back to vlog. <laughs> so after I spoke to you guys, I think I just went to go spend time and eat dinner. <laughs> and then I was relaxing, watching TV, and I worked out. Let me tell you, working out has been a struggle the past few days. I don't know if it's just because for my birthday, I was eating so much that, you know, I didn't gain a few pounds. I don't know if it's that or that I have COVID. I'm not sure. I feel a little out of breath. But the fact that I'm still able to work out, like, I think I'm okay. But, yeah, it's definitely been quite a struggle. I just wanted to be honest. Like, you can see I'm out of breath. <laughs> and clearly, like, I'm not even sweating anymore. Like, I'm fine. Um, so I'm taking it easy. I did a 15-minute workout. I just didn't want to do too much because, you know, I don't know what's really going on with me. But I did want to come and close out the vlog. Hopefully, I have enough footage for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, I looked up how to pronounce the name of my new amazing craft cocktails on demand. And it is called the Bartesian. Definitely chop that all up. So it's called the Bartesian and I'm going to link it down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do uh, a month out review. So maybe in July sometime, I will do a review if you guys would like that. Uh, I can tell I will have to limit myself because the drinks that it makes, they're not keto friendly. <laughs> you guys know, typically at home, I just have keto friendly drinks. So uh, I will buy the Cosmopolitan low carb or low calorie one. Yeah, I'll just have to limit myself to one a week because I had two. Did I have two today? No, I think I only had one. I made two for other people though, like one for one and one for another. Um, but I can totally see how this will be bad for my waistline if I don't uh, curb my enthusiasm. I will buy one new pack of pods a month just so that I'm able to try out different cocktails. But it's such a cool little device. Like, I honestly feel like a bartender and it's perfect because I usually don't make like mixed cocktails and such. I just go for a standard vodka soda and I just stir it around with like a stirring spoon. So I'm really, really excited about that. Let me stop babbling. I'm continuing to catch up on rest. When you get old and you party, it becomes a lot. Uh, we just had a party here at the house for my immediate family and the babe. But that was still a lot more activity and fun than I've had in the past four months. So I'm going to go. I hope you all are doing well. I hope this vlog was a nice, lighthearted video. Um, I've been feeling a lot better in the days previous, you know. I'm staying away from the news when I can because it's just not healthy for me. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.